guys, today I did this makeup tutorial for you. It is my quick everyday where to work, wear wherever you want makeup tutorial. I hope you guys like it. It was very easy, just a few products met, uh, you, oh, it was very simple, just a few products used. Um, you can switch them out for colors that are similar. You do not have to use the brands that I used. Obviously you can use drugstore, high end, whatever you want to do. Um, but this is my everyday, don't want to be too glam, but still want to look put together makeup. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys want to see how I did my full foundation and brow and concealer and all that routine, I will link all those videos in the description of this video just to make this one faster. I don't want to do that in every single video. And now I'm going to move on to my eyes. I'm going to be using two different products on my eyes. I'm going to be using the Melt Dark Matter Eyeshadow Stack and the Makeup Geek Z Palette. And I'm going to mostly be sticking to Coco Bear and maybe some of these other neutrals, but it's a very simple look. I've already primed my eyelids with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and now I'm going to take a Sigma E40 blending brush and the MAC Pro Emphasize Shaping Powder and I'm going to just put that all over my lids just to make it easier for my shadows to blend. Then I'm going to go in with Blur from the Melt Cosmetics Dark Matter Eyeshadow Stack and I'm going to take the same Sigma E40 blending brush and really blend that out all over as my very lowest transition shade. Then I'm going to take my Zoeva Lux Soft Definer brush and the color Unseen from the Dark Matter stack and I'm going to put that a little lower down into the crease. Then I'm going to get some tweezers and pluck some of these stray brow hairs because no. Nah. Then I'm going to use my IT Cosmetics Airbrush Blend... <laughs> Then I'm going to use my IT Cosmetics Airbrush Blending Crease Brush and I'm going to take the color Coco Bear from Makeup Geek and I'm just going to place that in the outermost corner and sort of smoke it inwards, you'll see. Now I'm going to take my Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush and I'm going to blend all of this top part out to where there's no harshness like that. And to highlight certain areas like the inner corners of my eyes, my brow, and then right here, which, which is the inner corners, I'm going to be using my MAC Shaping Powder in Emphasize. I'm just going to place it exactly where I want. Also take a bit of this emphasized shaping powder and apply it to your cupid's bow and the tip of your nose. And a tiny bit down the bridge. Now with the Zoeva Lux Petite Crease Brush, I'm going to take the color Coco Bear and I'm going to just run that under my lower lash line to smoke out the bottom. Then taking that airbrush blending crease brush from IT Cosmetics and I, with no extra product on it, I'm just going to smoke and blend that out. Now instead of doing the wing, which is sort of my signature thing, I'm not going to do a wing today because I'm just going to hang out with some friends and I just wanted something that looks nice on my eyes but not overkill. So all I'm going to do is take a bit of my Rimmel Scandalized Black Coal Pencil and run it along my lower and upper waterline and then I'm going to smudge that out a little bit. Now today I'm not going to use any false lashes because like I said I'm going over to my friend's house and I don't need this big dramatic makeup look. So all I'm going to do is use my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara and I'm going to do a couple of coats. I don't really like to curl my lashes. I do but I never really noticed that much of a difference so I'm not going to do it today because it's just a waste of time girl. Now that the eyes are finished I'm going to warm up my face using my Anastasia Contour Kit and my Benefit Hoola Bronzer. I'm going to start off contouring and then I'm going to bronze up my face. With the contour, I'm going to take a mixture of these three colors. I just sort of And I'm using this dual fiber brush that I got from my Coastal Scents. Like I, I, this is one of the first brushes I ever got back. Um, it comes in like this large Coastal Scents kit. But I find that it works really well especially for contour because it's not overly harsh, it's not so dense because it's got these little flicky fibers on the end 
to where it's not so dense that it's going to make my contour look real weird. Then I'm going to take the small brush that comes with the Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm going to swirl it around there, tap off the excess, and just gently take that up on the high planes of my face. Get this shit out of my face. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the Balm's Mary Luminizer on my Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush F35 and I am going to just tap off a lot of the excess and gently highlight my cheekbones. Then I am going to take my NYX Cir Circe Cirque and I am going to apply that just to my entire lip and then I'm going to go over it with my Gerard Cosmetics 1995 lipstick. For my blush I'm going to use my Vincent Longo Desert Rose Dewdrop Blush and I'm just going to do a light wash of that over my cheeks. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It'll update you when I put out new videos. Also, if you would like to, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Those are all at Rob Beauty Christie. I'm also starting vlogging. Um, I'm going to be doing that a lot more. So keep an eye out for weekly vlogs. They are not going to be daily vlogs, but they will be weekly vlogs kind of mashed into one. Um, yeah, so I'm vlogging today. I vlogged the last few days. And um, when I feel like I've got enough good footage, I will throw them all together and... You will watch it. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye.